Hey guys, you may know me as Mermaid Ophelia or Kelpie Dreams, and I have something super exciting that I want to share with you guys today. So a little while ago, I think about a month ago to be exact, I jumped on Mernation's sale that they were having on their signature line silicone tails. So I went and got myself a custom sculpted coelacanth tail. Uh, from their signature line sale. So I'm going to be unboxing it uh, for the first time. I have not seen this in person before and hopefully you guys will get to share in some of my excitement. So this is my first silicone tail. I've done a lot of research before committing to something like this, but I haven't personally owned one before. Uh, one of my reasons for going with Mernation was honestly just positive reviews. They have really good reviews with customer service, insane turnaround times actually, and they're just really, really nice to work with. I found all of the reviews that I could find online were completely true to my experience with them. I got the first text message uh, from Mernation that they were about to start my sculpt. Uh, keep in mind that this is custom sculpted, the fluke, the fins, it was all a custom sculpt for me specifically. Um, I got the text that they were about to start sculpting on April 17th, and I got the text of the final completed product, completed painted sealed tail on April 30th. That is an insanely short turnaround time. Not just in the grand scheme of mermaid tails, but in the grand scheme of costumes in general, I actually make costumes for a living. So to me, a less than two week turnaround time for a completely custom sculpted product is insanely fast. Mernation was also really great with communication. Uh, when I contacted them, I said that I wanted a coelacanth inspired tail with a color palette inspired by Ursula. So black, purple, and silver, because she's my favorite character. I don't have an excuse, she's just great. I wanted it to also look a little bit witchy or sea serpent-like, just, just monstery in some way. So I sent all of this information to them of kind of what I wanted, and then they put together this honestly beautiful piece of art. I cannot believe how pretty this thing is. It looks exactly as I imagined it. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking and start unboxing. It's a little bit nerve-wracking. I sound like a Muppet. So I specifically got this tail. I uh, usually, when I do mermaiding, I do a more classic, like, pretty, cute kind of mermaid thing, and I go by Ophelia. I specifically got this tail for a, I suppose you could say, separate character or separate mersona named Skeela who is a sort of warrior, deep sea witch kind of thing. So I'm really excited to get to explore the more, um, I don't know, dark or creepy looking side of mermaid stuff. I went to school for special effects, so I love monsters, I love classic horror, I love everything that's just sort of a little dark and a little creepy, but I like pretty things too. So I'm really excited to get to sort of have the best of both worlds here. Okay. Aww. They wrote me a little note. <laughs> it says, thank you, love Mernation. I have seen that they seem to uh, put that in a lot of people's boxes, so I'm really glad I got one too. Oh my gosh. Oh, she's so pretty. All right, so I will be the first to admit I know within the mermaiding community, people really like to name things. They like to name their tails, they like to name, well, mostly their tails. I've always been pretty bad at that. I kind of just call things by what they are, like the brown tail, the, the whatever tail. Um, so I have put an effort <laughs> into trying to stick to calling this tail by a specific name, and the best that I can do is the elecanth because it's kind of like a coelacanth, and it's got fins down the sides, so it's kind of like a sideways eel. I don't know, that's the best you're gonna get out of me. So, without further ado, this is the elecanth. Oh okay, 
Here are, oh my gosh. So all of these fins are custom sculpted for me, which I still think is amazing. So here are the first two of my custom lobe fins. So this tail has, let me count, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think this tail has eight. This tail has eight fins, because I'm a monster. Oh, this is so pretty. So I got Mernation's pleated scales and a blended waist with a metallic top coat and a little bit of a holographic sheen. And Erin, uh, one of the Mernation team, um, she made a comment to me while painting this that this is such a pretty witchy sea serpent kind of design that she didn't want it to look too cartoony. And I'm really happy with how subtle and natural the paint job is. Look at this beautiful first dorsal fin. This thing is huge. Oh my gosh, this is lovely. I'll try to keep pulling this out so that you guys can see it. <laughs> the little guy. Oh, and finally. And here is the coelacanth fluke. Isn't that so pretty? Oh my gosh. So I know that I've said this about 10 times already, but all of these fins were custom sculpted specifically for this tail. And I got this tail during Mernation's half off sale they were having. So given all of the custom sculpting, custom detailing, and just like, I mean, look at this, there's little holes in, in the fins and all these tiny scales that they brought down into the lobe fins. This is an incredible, work of art for the price that I got it at. If you look at any of Mernation's reviews, which if you're looking to buy a silicone tail, please look at reviews. It'll help you out a lot. Uh, this is a piece of equipment. It isn't just a, I mean, it could just be a costume if you wanted it to, but these are designed to be working tails that are supposed to last you a really long time if you take care of them. So the fact that I was able to get such a beautiful customized piece of equipment for such like an incredible price, it's just, I am so lucky. <laughs> so here is the whole tail all the way down the front. I've got two lobe fins in the pectoral area, two lobe fins in the sort of, I don't know, shin area. These super long side fins that go all the way down the entire length of the tail. They're all tattered and they've got cool little holes in them. And then obviously, <laughs> the big, beautiful coelacanth fluke with that cute little, I don't know what to call it, but it's like a little tiny second tail on the end. I love that. And then flipping her gently for you. Here is the back. So I have these two huge dorsal lobe fins running down the back. Um, so like I've said, the anatomy and majority of the design of this tail was inspired by coelacanths. I love coelacanths. They're so cute. They're so cool. They're just hanging out down there doing whatever they want for however many hundreds of thousands of millions of years. They're neat. I really like the design of them. They they look so ancient, but still like kind of cute, you know? And the other part of this tale's design inspiration was Ursula and kind of flotsam and jetsam. So I wanted a little bit of just like a nod to the eels with these big long side fins. And Mernation was telling me that this is going to look really cool in the water. So hopefully I can confirm that uh, sooner rather than later. Okay, so if it was not already super obvious, I am so happy with this tail. I think it's beautiful. Um, I know you guys aren't here and you can't smell it, but I love how silicone smells. So I'm digging that right now. And I am just so honored to be able to have such a beautiful piece of custom art that is also going to be really great equipment for business stuff. I think Mernation is an excellent company to work with if you are in the market for a silicone tail. Uh, they've been doing what they've been doing for a good long time and pretty much all of the reviews are saying exactly what I've just said, that they have great customer service, insanely fast turnaround times, and they're just honestly nice people who want to work with you and make sure you get the product that you want to get, uh, which they certainly did in my case. I mean, I, I can't say it enough, she's gorgeous. Like, what else is there to say? 
I'm not sure how well you guys can see this, but this thing is one of the sparkliest things I've ever seen in my life. There is a metallic sheen over the whole tail, and I was told that Erin put a sort of holographic sheen over it as well. And it just has this beautiful, subtle sparkle all over the whole thing. It's so pretty. It almost seems to shift colors depending on the angle you're viewing it from. If you guys would like to see more of my stuff and more of this tail, I am Kelpie Dreams on Instagram, specifically Kelpie.Dreams on Instagram. And hopefully I can get my first swim footage in this tail sooner rather than later.